The essence of the science spirit is to realize what a wonderful world it is that we live in, said the great Indian physicist Sir C. D. Down. One day, today we all have gathered here to celebrate the National Science Day. This day is celebrated to commemorate the discovery of the great Indian physicist Sir C. D. Down. Prayer is an expansion of total faith in the power present within and around us. When we pray with faith, we express our gratitude towards God. Let us invoke the blessings of the Almighty through a prayer song by our session. Tasmatva etamatatmana akasha samabhudha akashad vayuhu vayor agnihi agnarapaha adapya prithvi prithvi oshadhaya oshadhibhyo sama annadapurasaha Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you, friends. A genuine leader is not the searcher of consensus, but a molder of consensus. I request our leader, our beloved principal, Dr. Vasanthi Jagarajan, to deliver the welcome address. Vande Guru, on the occasion of uh, National Science Day that we celebrate every year on the 28th of February, a day when Dr. C. V. Raman did us all proud as a nation that got recognized in the World Forum for its contribution to science when Dr. Raman presented before the Nobel Committee the path-breaking discovery of dispersion of light. And as Dr. C. V. Raman himself said during the acceptance of this prestigious international award, this award is actually a recognition of the galaxy of scientists that India is well known for since ancient times. We know we have Aryabhata, Varaha Mira, and we have Sushruta, well-known surgeon of those days. And this moves into a lot of scientists of the past, Dr. Bose, and then we have Dr. Kurian for the White Revolution, Dr. M. S. Swaminathan of the Green Revolution, Dr. Homi Baba, space scientist, Dr. Kalam. So you name them, India is well known for its scientific temper. However, the government of India recognized the fact that this young generation needs to be motivated into authentic scientific discovery. And that's why the celebration of Science Day every year is significant because it throws a lot of light on the hope the country has on our youngsters, all our young scientists. So my greetings to my dear Sishians on this day. Each and every one 
of you here is a scientist, a potential one. You're already a scientist because when you observe, you see things around you, you question them and you work on what you know versus what you don't know. That's science. And I wish to thank the science department and the department of English for putting all this together in the form of the science day presentation, which I'm sure would be very beneficial for all our students. And we are glad that as part of the National Science Day celebration, the Government of India in the National Toy Fair 2021 has selected Sishya School to be one of the ITF booths on the 27th. This is going to be shown to the entire nation and we have put up all our products which our children designed with our teachers, innovative products using games. I request all of you to run through the entire presentation because it's a tribute to the hard work and the thinking minds of our young children and teachers. Once again, my greetings to all of you and best wishes. Happy thinking. May the scientists flourish and contribute to the progress of mankind. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. We enjoy the enthusiasm of the National Science Day to actually recognize the importance and the understanding of Raman effect in India with the great Indian physicist Sir C. V. Raman. To get a profound understanding and knowledge about this day, I call upon Aishwarya Gandhi of Class 11 to present the insight. Science is simply the word we use to describe a method of organizing a curiosity, said Tim mentioned, Vande Gurum. February 28th is celebrated as National Science Day. The theme for the National Science Day 2021 is Future of STI, Impacts on Education, Skills and Work. Since our independence in 1947, India has been successful in building a massive ecosystem of science, technology and innovation. An STI ecosystem includes universities, public and private enterprises and human resources. India has a great heritage of science and technology. From the ancient era, many scientists, mathematicians, astronomers, and medical experts like Aryabhatta, Maharishi Kannada, Brahmaputra, Bhaskaracharya, Nagarjuna, Sushrut, Charak, and many more have contributed their work for progression of science and technology in India. In the 21st century, India is rapidly progressing to reach the peaks in science and technology. Many Indian scientists have won global recognition with their work. An Indian physicist, Sir Chandrasekhar Venkatraman, is one of them. Sir C. V. Raman discovered the Raman effect which studied the scattering of light in liquids, solids and gases. For this tremendous discovery, he was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1930. To celebrate this success, the Government of India decided to celebrate the day on 20th February as National Science Day since the year 1999. So the first National Science Day was celebrated in India on 20th February 1999. The then Prime Minister Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee added Jai Vigyan to the iconic slogan Jai Jawan Jai Kisan. It is further strengthened by the addition of Jai Anusandan by our present Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. We celebrate National Science Day to appreciate the efforts of individuals and organizations who are working tirelessly to make the lives of people better with the help of science and technology while contributing steadily to the scientific prowess of the country. Today on this significant occasion of National Science Day, let us promise to use technology to make the world a better place. Thank you. Thank you, Aishwarya. Now I request Sassidur of class 11 to present the declamation. My dear citizens, my greetings to all of you. I am indeed very happy to talk to you on the occasion of National Science Day, which is celebrated on the 28th of February every year. The day in the year 1930, Nobel laureate Sir C. V. Raman announced a landmark discovery, which is finding applications today in the area of continuous wave silicon laser. On this day, the nation pays tribute and expresses its gratitude to all the scientists who have made a dream of using the science and science discoveries as vehicles for economic development. 
Today, science has touched every person in all walks of life, be it rural or urban. When you visit a doctor with faith that he will find a cure for every illness, and when he or she does, you see science in action. When you have the world of technology available to you, you see science in action. When you enjoy television shows from the comforts of your home, you see science in action. On the National Science Day, normally, I used to talk with your friends about the scientific achievements of our country. In the Indian Science Congress 2006, I have highlighted the various scientific achievements made by our scientists in the recent past. Today, my talk is exclusively directed towards the research by academic institutions, R&D organizations, scientists, students on the missions which will enable India to realize the goal of energy independence well before 2030. Dear young friends, I am sure many of you will be looking forward to pursuing science as a career to meet the challenges and derive happiness through providing better quality of life to our people. On this day, let me wish you the future of my country many successes in your scientific efforts and missions. My best wishes to all of you. May God bless you. Thank you, Sasidhar. The main purpose of this event is to commemorate the discovery of the Raman effect. So now, let us watch a brief video on the Raman effect. Creativity is a natural extension of our enthusiasm. To make this celebration more innovative and creative, we are going to view the toys prepared by our sessions for the better learning. At this juncture, we are very happy to inform that our school has been selected as one of the booths to present the education toys in the Indian Toy Fair 2021, which will be conducted from 27 February to March 2nd. Thanks. We are from grade 1. We are going to do
concepts of speed, friction, aerodynamics for National Science Day. We are hot field sprinters of class 7 sisters. I am Joseph. I am Pranabhar. I am Narin Karthik. I am Arjun Sai. I am Arjun Sai. I could learn the concept of speed from my jetter. My jetter travels 10.5 meter in 6 seconds in the speed of 1.75 meter per second. I can learn the concept of increased friction from my jetter and it travels 7.8 meters in 9.7 seconds. That is 0.8 meters per second. My jetta used 6.5 meters in 6.8 seconds. To increase the speed and decrease the friction, I have used aerodynamic wings. My jetta used 1.05 meters per second. The jetta I have made could move 6.5 meters in 6.6 seconds because of load. To increase the speed, I have used 6 wings. The speed of my jetta is 0.98 meter per second. I can learn the concept of circular motion and my jetta travels 0.16 meters per second. We have made our own jet toy to learn the concept of speed, friction and factors affecting them respectively. For this we have designed our own pathways in such a way that our model experiences friction and circular motion. For load we have used pieces of iron weights to understand how it affects speed. We really love to play and design with our jet toy as we are exploring things by ourselves. Through our own jet toy we can learn the concepts of speed, friction, aerodynamics and how load affects speed. So with this, have a great and an innovative science day. Thank you. Manje Guru, we the students of class 9 of Sisha School are very proud and happy to be a part of the National Science Day 2021. We have designed a very innovative and creative board game depicting science and geography with teachers. This game consists of interesting elements such as casino play, property, loss and game. The significance of this game is to develop the 21st century skills such as problem solving, pattern thinking, teamwork and lot more. This board game is made out of used cardboards, used airport kits, and we have used recycled kits to make the dice and currencies. We have used small small pieces to make the coins. The doll at the center is uh, reusable and eco friendly. This, this game can be played by four members of four teams. This game is connected to the activities of our day to day life. There are two types of dice. One with four sides and another with six sides. So the four sided dice is used throughout the game and the six sided dice is used only when we land on the casino. There are four colors throughout the game, depicting game, loss, casino and property respectively. We have included questions where you get to answer it when you land on it. Uh, you should keep in mind that you shouldn't answer it aloud. We have, you should answer the questions uh, in the paper provided. Okay, so now let's uh, see how to play the game. So she is going to be the banker and we four are going to play the game throughout. So this is the start point. Uh, in order to start the game, we have to roll the four sided dice. So this is the four sided dice. So the number which is uh, come is one. So uh, under one you have a green color which depicts the game. So you have won in a beauty contest, collect rupees thousand. So she is going to gain a money of rupees thousand. So next I'll be playing the game. So I've got three. Uh, so mine, mine I've got a game. It's like a it's a birthday, collect uh, presents from other players. So they'll be giving me uh, their own presents. Next I'll be playing. So her number is four. So one, two, three, and four. So I have got a loss. Electricity tax pay five thousand. So I have to pay five thousand. 
and the red color indicates the loss. So again, I've been landed on uh, number one. So again, uh, I've got, I've, I'm have i getting a place money of rupees 1000. So in order to prove for the next set of four blocks, you have to answer the question which is provided. So we are going to do that now. And the question which is asked over here is, Name any three common animals found in the tropical evergreen forest. So we are going to write the answers in the sticky book which is provided for us. Friction is an opposing force which acts in the opposite direction of the uh, force applied on an object. So the third picture is about inertia. The law of inertia states that uh, an object at rest will stay at rest and an object in motion will stay at motion until and unless an external force acts on it. So mass is directly proportional to inertia. The car is very heavy so the man is unable to push uh, the car. So this one is about the third law of motion. Uh, every action has an equal and opposite reaction force. So when the man jumps out of the boat, he pushes the boat backwards. So this is again about inertia. The coin is at rest. So when, when you flick the card, the coin still stays at rest and it falls inside the plane. So this is about momentum. The law of conservation of momentum states that the momentum will be same for the two objects before and after collision. So in the case we have included three books uh, which are uh, which explain about space and time. So the first one is from a very great scientist, uh, Albert Einstein. 
is about the theory of relativity which governs large masses in the universe and also relates time and how it could be an absolute and how it could time The other two are from Stephen uh, Kami, who is a very cosmologist for explaining a uh, very complex scientific uh, uh, calculations in simple words. Uh, this is very useful for even a common man who wants to learn more about this topic. The first one, uh, The Brief History of Time, is uh, a book where it uh, shows how time can be used, uh, portrayed in different ways. That there is an absolute value, a dimension, or, uh, or even a vector value. The other one is more of a brief, uh, brief, brief book which explains more about the questions in our daily life she asks along the term of time. Uh, this is a uh, word search puzzle uh, which is based on grade 9 uh, physics. Among us. This game involves five levels with questions moving from simple to complex that involves all the concepts learned at each of these levels. If the child is able to attempt all the questions at each level, student will reach the target without facing any hurdles. If the child is not able to answer the questions at any particular level, then the child will be remediated on the concepts in the same topic after which they will be directed to take up the main path to reach the final destination. After clearing first and the second level, when the child reaches the third level, he or she would avail an opportunity to move to the next level by solving a hard question to gain extra points. The same process repeats till the finishing point. The player will be awarded 5 points for each correct answer. If it is incorrect, then the child will be directed to answer a rudimentary question at 3 levels addressing the very fundamental concepts that carries no points. Instead, an explanation will be provided with solution. Suppose a student fails at all 3 levels, they will be provided a lifeline call or call a friend to still remind the game. And we have a lot of powers and tricks which improves lack of thinking. 
Therefore, there are various ways to explore and learn. We have figured out one such way of fun learning. The uniqueness of the game is that we have used 100% eco-friendly products. Why do we celebrate National Science Day? Discover your CV on the day. Thank you. Well, nutritionists, that was a result of a great effort. Thank you. Science is an important part of our everyday life, even more so than we notice. From the humble light bulb to the space explorations, the fancy gadgets that we can't live without are all the gifts of science and technology. I wonder what would we be doing if none of these things were invented? How often do we take out the time to think about these extraordinary minds who made life easier for us? It is very important to recognize and know about the contributions they have made in all our lives. So let us watch a video on the contributions of the Indian scientists. Thank you, friends. To keep ourselves safe and healthy in this period of global pandemic, let us watch the COVID awareness video. One day, Guru. The COVID-19 virus is receding but still has not disappeared. Everyone has to be careful in these testing times. Staying at home is safe but may not be possible for everyone at all times. When in a public place, remember to use a mask. The virus spreads through droplets which may be present in the air. In order to keep safe, always cover your nose and mouth with a well-fitting mask. Always keep an alcohol-based sanitizer with you. Make sure you sanitize your hands after touching any surfaces in the public places. When available, soap and water should be preferred to maintain perfect hand hygiene. 
continue to follow social distancing in public places to win this battle against the virus. Remember, prevention is better than cure. Thank you. It's now time to recognize the healthy thanks for their tireless efforts towards the success of this show. Our earnest thanks to our correspondent and principal Dr. Vasanthi Tyagarajan for giving us this opportunity to celebrate the National Science Day to keep alive our scientific temper. I extremely thank the academic coordinator, Mrs. Neeraja, for her contribution in the conduct of today's function. My sincere thanks to Mrs. Vinita, the headmistress, and her team for the support extended. I genuinely thank the block coordinators and the subject coordinators for their valuable suggestions and feedback. I thank the science department headed by Mrs. Banmati for their support. I genuinely thank Mr. Mahadevan, Mrs. Kalyanji and Mrs. Femina for their technical guidance in hosting this event successfully. I thank the SS department for the gallery work on the contribution of the Indian scientists. My heartfelt thanks to Mr. Santosh for the prayer song. I thank the English department for helping us with our script. My heartfelt thanks to all the participants for their enthusiastic involvement. Finally, I extend my thanks to all the teachers, parents and students for their presence. The National Science Day not only commemorates the great Indian scientist Sir C. V. Raman and one of his great discoveries, but also promotes science as a part of our everyday living. When the approach of the society becomes scientific in every aspect, Growth and prosperity would follow as its outcomes. Thank, Thank you. you. And not to forget, keep distance. Stay safe.